Russell Fork Pharmacy is your locally owned pharmacy, offering fast, friendly service with competitive prices and free delivery. Call 606-754-7085. Visit RussellForkPharmacy.com and download our free mobile app for refill requests and more. An anonymous tip to the Floyd County Sheriff's Department led to the arrest of Joshua Hinkins of Ashland and David Allen Smith of Barberville. According to the arrest citation, the anonymous tip stated that David Allen Smith and a male passenger would be bringing a large quantity of meth and heroin to a residence to sell. I spoke with Detective Kevin Shepard of the Floyd County Sheriff's Department to find out more about what occurred during the traffic stop and how securing these drugs can be dangerous and even fatal. According to citations on March the 9th, around 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, deputies had received a complaint, uh, a tip that some drugs were coming into the area. Somewhere during that time, they were able to locate a vehicle that matched the description of the car that they had received earlier. At that time, Deputy Thacker, I think, was the first unit that was behind the vehicle, and during that time, he had did get behind the vehicle, and as he activated his emergency lights, uh, the subject, they appeared to be throwing something out the window. After the traffic stop was initiated, uh, they were able to search the subject that was inside the vehicle, and was, they found a uh, substantial amount of methamphetamine, I believe, at that time. Uh, once that was concluded, they went back to the area and had secured where they had seen the subject throw the, the first container out of the window. And I believe at that time they found another amount of methamphetamine and a, a, a large amount of heroin. This is the largest amount that I've seen in, in my 15 years with the Floyd County Sheriff's Department. Through my time, I've seen several arrests on heroin, uh, but this is the largest amount that I've seen that we've taken in. According to the arrest citation, Joshua Hinkins told Deputy Brandon Martin that he wasn't there to buy or sell anything, but his intentions were to rob the subject that was going to be purchasing the illegal narcotics. Fentanyl is something that we're seeing a little in this area is coming in, but the end result is if this stuff's laying on the highway or if we approach it and we try to pick it up without uh, proper protection, you know, we're, we're subject to, to an overdose within just a few short minutes. With this stuff laying on the ground, you, you really don't have to ingest it to, to be uh, getting any kind of effect from it. You could just put your hands on it. It could be something that was laying there and you just brush up against it. It's, it's, that, it's that potent. Um, you know, uh, so far we haven't had any complaints where we're finding fentanyl or heroin just laying. But there, there's always a chance that we could be in pursuit of someone. They could just throw it out and we, we not see that. And then some innocent person or child comes up and finds it, God forbid that ever happens. I mean, we're trying to stop the drugs from coming in, plus keep it out of the community's hands. You know, it's just, a, it's, it's dangerous in every way. You know, the, the best thing we can do, and I know people that we've, it's like beating a dead horse, is educate, but that's that's where it comes down. I mean, it's, it's educate, educate, you know, and that's uh, through media, we're able to do that with what we're doing with you guys. And, uh, but yeah, uh, there's so many factors that play into drug use and, and drug sales, you know, there's just a lot of factors in there. I just wish we had the answer to it.